Hi guys, Tom McGrath here. Here's a quick warm up for the cane classes I'll be teaching in the future. As I post this, there's one coming up this weekend, February 4th, and I'll be doing more later in the year. Um, so I'm using a coal steel axe head cane, uh, which is a uh, polypropylene trainer made of a polymer, it's plastic. Um, nice and sturdy, I've had one of these for about six months now. It's my walking around the yard stick when I take my dog for a walk and as you can see the mud in the bottom. Um, but these are heavier than the a normal cane I would carry. So therefore it's a good trainer for solo training and hitting the bags, I'll show you that in a minute, the tires. Uh, it's also shaped like the Central European uh, Shepherd's Axe, which is a, generally usually has a walking stick length handle with a lightweight head on it. Um, and I just did a last weekend, a, a joint seminar with uh, Russ Mitchell uh, from Texas, who is a uh, Focos teacher. Focos is the uh, Hungarian word for their ax head walking stick. It's used by everybody over there as a walking stick. Most of uh, Central Europe is specifically for shepherds. Um, and then you'll see along the Mediterranean and on the West Coast, you see more of a, of a heart height staff with no head on it. Um, so interesting tool to use. I, I like these a lot. These are handy. So let's get to the warm up. So very simple weapon side forward or your dominant side forward, left hand down on the end of the head of the stick. Uh, your right hand is, um, about one hand width up from your left. And I want you to bend your knees and just come down and up. And that action of coming up, I want you to think of not pulling up with your right wrist, but pushing forward with your left hand. So you do 10 of those. It's a nice, easy warm up. Don't go crazy with it. So let's say we did 10 of that. Now I want you to try this at a little more speed. You're going to hit down and then bounce it up. And then again, so it's there. So a little more force in your wrist now. It's still not maximum speed, but I do want you to get the idea of returning faster than your delivery. And when you, I'll show you on the tires what the application of this mo motion is. So do 10 of those, you know, at like um, somewhere with like 50 to 75% speed. And then your next motion, let me face the camera, it'll be easy for you to see, is go down and come around in a circle and then up outside the center line. So the first one, coming along that diagonal line. The second one, coming back on the same diagonal line. The third one, you're going to make a circle and come up outside the line. And then do two, 10 of those. And you really wanna to try to get that return fast on that. So each of those are, when you work on tires, and, and these are a bit heavy to do two man drills with, uh, these heavy duty polypropylene trainers. I would use these for a solo work to get your strength and endurance up and hitting the tires for your power generation. So the first one is simply hitting. You know, hitting um, if his hands extended, our primary target is the opponent's weapon hand as usual. So you're just hitting, the, you know, either head height, my tires happen to be set up for uh, legs and head. If you want to set one up for hand height, I would put it about elbow height to hit. The second one, we had that bounce return, is if you miss, he take on for his hand and he pulls back, you come up under his hand. So if this is my opponent's hand, I'm going down, he pulls away, he tries to come back in, I smack him with the um, stick on the rise and come back up. So you'll hit. And then let's say I'm going for a hit here. I miss, I go for the hit here, come back up. And you can, if you have a fixed target, this is a lot heavier than a person's arm and an arm, you smack it, you get out of the way. But you can move your hand a little bit out of the way on the your delivery coming down, the uppercut, and then take your stick out of the way so you're not trying to lift the tire with your wrist. The third one, as I come down, if I miss, this is a circle pattern. And that one gets completely off the line 
of the tires. Let me see if I can turn this to show you a bit better. And I just have to yeah. try it. So I'm coming down to hit. If I if I miss, then I come up in a circle to parry his thrust. So those three movements again are for the warm-up down and up with an emphasis on punching forward with the bottom hand to raise the stick up. And then you have the bounce hit. So if you miss the downward hit to his weapon hand, you snap that back up. If you engage it and you can't go all the way through it like the first one did, then you can bounce off that and disengage away from his arm. And then the third one is if I miss, I come up and do a circular parry and come back up into guard position. So three quick warm up drills for the walking stick seminars I'm doing in the future. Thank you. Train hard, but train smart.